<laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Okay, so we're gonna cover three tips for single men. Yeah, we wanna give you guys some tips, even though we're not single, we were all single at one time. So we're gonna give you our best advice to hopefully help you get out there and get that girl you get that girl of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> or start practicing of getting towards that girl, that lover, that love, that future love of yours. That's right. Huh, boo -boo. You know, and I get hit up, I get this question a lot too. I mean, I have a lot of guys that hit me up where they don't know what to do or they're just at a point in their lives where they feel stuck or, you know, they feel depressed or... They're kind of like out of the frame. School. Whether it's because they're single or, you know, they're, they're down at the moment because they've been single for a long time. So my best, you know, what I always tell these people and my best advice is just anytime you're single, the best thing you can do is work on yourself. I've did that personally for years and breakups and stuff. I always use that time to better myself, whether, you know, in the past, you learn a lot from your relationships. You could always take what you learned in the past and use it to get better now. Okay. If you had communication problems with your last, you know, relationships or whatever problems you have, use this time where you're single to improve on those. Cause guess what? If you get into another relationship today and you still have those same problems, you're probably going to have the same results. You're still going to have the same problems in your relationship. So take the time to improve yourself. There's tons of audio books out there, you know, learn communication, how to talk to someone. If you have issues with, you know, self-confidence or trust issues, jealousy issues, use that time to better yourself because it's going to help you out in your future relationships. Like how many times have we gotten in a broke, bro, bro, broke up with someone and we're just so lonely and we jump to the next relationship. And usually when we do that, we make bad choices of who we're picking because we're lonely. They're, they're feeding, they're feeding our ego or they're filling in that void or we just, we just want some company. So, right. Have you done that? Jumped into, don't say me. No. <laughs> just jumped into a relationship and made a bad decision or just jumped into dating overall and just like we make bad choices when we do that when we don't have that time to heal after a breakup yeah well for me i'm 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 kind of picky about who i date because i don't i'm at the age where you know i don't want to waste my time as you get older and stuff you start looking for something more serious so you start looking for qualities that you want and someone long term and you got to realize that women are looking for the same thing. If you're still out partying and drinking all the time and getting high and like doing stupid stuff, like that's an instant turn off to women and they're gonna, you know, that's one of, it's a deal breaker. So you guys gotta realize, you know, where you're at in life and you show the best you, show the best side of you, work on yourself. Yeah, it wasn't, after my divorce years ago, it took two years for me to work on myself, two years. It took two years to heal, and I'm still healing, but no one's gonna be perfect, but you gotta, it took two years of constantly getting to know myself again and finding out who I'm looking for and what qualities I'm looking for and having my standards higher because I didn't have them very high. And each relationship you go through, my mom actually always tells me this. She always tells me like, each relationship that doesn't work out, it gets you closer to a relationship that is going to work out because your standards go up. You learn from that. You learn what you do and don't want in a relationship. And you just, it just kind of keeps building and building over time. And so after quite a few relationships and mistakes, I found this amazing guy <laughs> and, um, and I learned each relationship. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, I don't, don't want that. I need this. I need this. And ta -da! I found him finally. And yeah, it took, quite a while and quite a lot of mistakes <laughs> but you grow from me learn from it and you need to work on yourself along each breakup after each breakup you got to work on yourself and not only in as far as your relationship goes but take the time to work on your fitness when you take care of your body and your mind and you're in the gym and you know, I always stress Self health love. and fitness too, because yeah, it makes you feel good inside. You feel more confident. You feel good about yourself. A lot of these jealousy issues that guys have, it's because it's an insecurity. You know, they don't feel confident about themselves. Mm -hmm. So they see someone else. So they're instantly jealous when if you build that own self-confidence in yourself, you're not going to have these jealousy issues. So that's a huge step is just build that confidence, you know, especially dating her. Like 
I have to, I had to come from a point where I was very confident in myself confident. and my self esteem too, because look at all the attention she gets on social media. But it's because I have confidence in myself and that I trust her, mm -hmm. and it's and it's something that's built up. You know, I wasn't always like this. It had to be built up. But after enough time, you build the confidence. You feel good about yourself, mm -hmm. and you know what you have to offer as a man. So you're not going to be worried about some random guy. You know, so yeah. use that time to work on your fitness. You know, work on your mindset, your health. Learn all the time and improve all the time. It's it's going to be the best thing you could do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 100 percent. And yeah, yeah, it's not easy when you get in a relationship and. Um, especially social media these days for all girls they we all get a lot of attention and the last thing you want to do is run run off a really good girl that is like could be really good potential relationship because of your jealousy and insecurities so um yeah you definitely want to work on that so um one thing also I noticed for guys um you need to if you have a social media obviously I know everyone does you got to use it to your advantage to show girls who you are, what your interests are, have good pics. Don't be posting all these partying pics or you just have all these pic pictures of your cats. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's quite a few of you or you just have all these memes. <laughs> memes. 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 Um, and, you know, you, you it's, it's going to... Is, is social media you can really use as, as a tool to show who you are, your interests, um, and who you're about and what you're looking for, actually. So really use it as like a platform to show that side of you because as soon as a girl goes to your Instagram or your, you know, your social media or Facebook, she's going to look at all those things. If you're DMing her... And you're like, hey, babe, how are you? You're so pretty. And she looks at your social media. That's the first thing she's going to judge you on. So she's not going to reply if you got all these beer pictures and just just mm -hmm. horrible stuff. So, right? Yeah, the, the, same, the same thing. I would agree. Like, you got to show off your best side of you. If you, Especially if you're looking for, you know, a girl or whatever. Just you want to show your smile too, show your personality, whether it's on your, your your stories or whatever. Usually, you know, if you, someone's interested in you, they're following yeah. you, they're going to see your stories. If you seem like you're complaining and stuff all the time and you're always mad and you're always angry and you're like this, like that's not going to be attractive to people. No. But if you're smiling, showing your personality, showing that pretty smile, you know, just showing that you're funny, <laughs> you have a good time and stuff, that's, that's attractive to people. People are going to like that and, you know, do that too. I know some... Some friends of mine, they just, they never smile in any of their pictures, but in real life, they're so, they're so friendly and they're so yeah, nice yeah. and genuine, but people would never uh, guess that by looking at your profile. So show who you really are. I'm always smiling and stuff in my pictures because that's who I am. I'm, you know, friendly and stuff like that too. So I like to show that side. Yeah. So get all that junk off, all the partying at the club, like unless you're trying to meet some girl at the club, you know, which none of us are. Why even show that? Why show you holding a bottle, getting wasted and stuff? Like, unless you're, what are you, 21? Like, come on. It's time to, if you're serious about this, show your best side because that's the first thing they're going to look at, you know? Um, and also, what kind of girl are you looking for? Like, take down, write it down in your notebook. What kind of girl are you looking for? And then kind of think, okay, what kind of girl would, or what kind of guy would this girl be looking for? And then write those traits down. Then look at your Instagram and be like, do I ha show any of these traits? Okay, do I look motivated? Do I look successful? Do I look like I have a job? Do I look like clean? Do I look like I wash my clothes? Like some basic stuff. Do I look motivated? Do I post quotes? Like do I have friends? Do I like family? Mm -hmm. Girls like family men. Girls like guys that take care of themselves, that have a career of some sort, are motivated. Smile are funny, like babies. Don't yeah. post babies though. That's weird. But yeah, if you have show family, show stuff. your family, your relatives. Um, you want to show those sides of you. So think about what would a girl be judging you on, and you might want to work on that on your social media before you DM girls. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you just <laughs> you're just ruining, you're just wasting time if you're DM DMing girls and you your page is just awful. So look at all that that's really important anything else to add and then that? yeah i mean then you just gotta put yourself out there you know you don't always have to go chasing girls but you might just get 
a new follow from a girl because you she might see everything on your page and she might like what she sees so she might follow you could start following you back start following her back maybe making s small comments building a little bit of a rela relationship and then maybe send a dm hey you know thanks for mm -hmm. liking my stuff hey oh where are you from by the way oh okay cool and make small talk and initiate mm -hmm. a conversation that way not like hey babe what's up girl you're beautiful you're hot you're sexy like eh, next but if you you know start commenting a little bit and show your side you know you got to think of what you're doing and how you're approaching these women because they get approached all the time my guys dms are flying in if you're just another one of those guys that's hey babe hey 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 you gotta be different and i i get this a lot too it's hilarious they dm you they try to do their little pitch line but they're not even following you <laughs> Don't flirt with a girl and you're not even following her. Like, yeah. at least follow her first. Because you know what that tells me is that tells it's me that like, that guy's messaging a bunch of girls the same thing. It's like, you know? it doesn't make her feel special if you're you're DMing her, flirting with her, and she's like, she goes to look at your page and you're not following her. She's not going to reply. She'll just get pissed. She might just block you because she's just like, fuck you, you know? Um, and also, one thing to meet girls, I, a lot of... You, a lot of people are meeting girls online and they're getting scammed. That's a whole nother, another video. We've talked about it before. You got to be careful of online dating. Don't send money. Don't send gift cards. Blah, blah, blah. You guys are smarter than this. Um, but one thing to meet girls in your area. to Once you do clean up your social media, make it presentable. Look up hashtags of your city in your town. Like, if you live in Boulder, Colorado, type in Boulder, Colorado for hashtags. Start liking girls in Boulder, Colorado's pictures. You want to meet someone in your town. It's yes. better to meet and date in person. Don't be meeting someone across the world online and then you realize, shit, I fell for this person they live across the world. You're so, making it way harder So look yourself. up hashtags for your area after you clean up your Instagram because that's going to be able to connect better and be like, oh, hey, I didn't realize you live in Colorado too. Wow, a coincidence. That's weird, <laughs> you know? Because then, you know, you can bond on that level and talk about your city where you live together. But the same thing too, you could search for things you like doing. If you enjoy hiking, you could hashtag hi hiking in your city or mm -hmm. if you like the gym search the gym and find people with common interest in you because that's how you're going to find someone you know go, go to gym classes yeah. sign up to a new gym i mean maybe you go to one gym and you just haven't met anyone there try a new gym you might meet someone else at a different location um but yeah you just want to you do want to get yourself out there but do make sure it's someone you can meet in your area yeah. it's very important so um yeah that's our three tips really that's it. Take yeah. care of yourself. Work on yourself, guys. Good luck. Be the best you as possible. And then get out there. Get out there. And go meet the, the, your, the, your next love. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> go. Bye. Bye.